What is happening everybody? Josh here from Spawn Flyfish and we got a crazy one for you today. Today we published a blog on AI and the future of fly tying. Really, really strange concept. Not sure how to approach it, but we had several questions on how to generate the images that we were able to generate. And today we're going to dive right into it and show you just how we created flies through artificial intelligence. Alrighty, everybody, we are gonna jump right into this. So, for starters, we're gonna go to the spawn fly fish first so that some of you guys that didn't see the blog previously know a little bit about what we're talking about. This is the spawn page here, and as you scroll down here, we will have the future of fly tying using AI. So, we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna show you how to utilize this tool in a way that works pretty well. So. As we jump over here into the tool we're gonna to use, the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is you are going to cre create a Discord and mid-journey profile. As you can see, Fishing Josh here, and in all of this interface will be in Discord. I can type in, hit the mid-journey button there, and we will get after it. So the interface of this is pretty spotty. Although I am not an AI expert, I am gonna give you this brief overview on fly tying and flies utilization. So needed to get that out there. I am by no means an expert, but I have not seen very many flies utilizing AI. So we will jump right into things. First thing you're gonna do here, what other YouTubers recommend is join one of these newcomer rooms. So. It prompted me to build an account. It is a cost monthly subscription um, if you use it more than just a few times, which I clearly have. So the first thing you're gonna need to do here, there's several ways you can do it. There's either a describe or an imagine feature that we like to utilize. So the first way you do that is you hit the backslash and it'll come up here with a few different things. We did change the settings. Uh, I don't know if that's fundamental to what you're gonna create, but the imagine or the describe. So we'll jump right into things first here. We'll do a describe and show you a little bit about what this is. I would say the functionality of this isn't nearly as good as it could be, but again, this has dramatically improved over the last several months and soon it'll be very good. So drag and drop or click a profile. We're gonna click here. We have some flies already pulled up that we took photos of previously. You can see a few here. We'll scroll through and click in here, hit enter. So another thing that's a little confusing here is this is a live feed. So it's going to, it did pop it up here at the bottom, but when there's a lot of people here in this room, it can get lost. It'll have a little yellow icon on the left-hand side that allows you to see where exactly it is. So what this is doing for you is it is describing the image. I would say that if you copy and paste this in, it's not gonna be nearly as good as you think it's gonna be. So when you do something like this, so we're gonna copy and paste the second one, it'll give you four options and you can regenerate responses if you didn't like them. So then you're gonna need to go backslash, imagine, and you're gonna copy and paste that prompt into it. This is if you are utilizing a fly that you already did. We're gonna just hit enter right there and you're gonna see that it's not gonna be that great. I'm just making a prediction. Again, it's gonna be moving. As this, you can see here, this is their left hand yellow tab and the AI tool is generating images. It's gonna generate four images and then from those four images, you will be able to select, alter, change, and whatnot. And if you save them, they will go into your mid-journey profile. Here's some flies that you guys all saw that I saved. As you can see, very, very rough. So the vise is off center. The flies are a little wonky here. Um, click here, open it for you a little bit. You can see that one's probably the best, but again, not very good. So just throwing that out there, that's gonna need some work. 
How you're going to do that is you're going to click the four or four variations. If you click the U4, it's going to bring up this photo and then you can save it to your mid-journey profile. So that's going to pull it up right there. I'm not going to save that. I don't think it looks very good. But if you want to create some, gener some other generations of this or variations of this, which is something that I talked about in the blog, you're going to hit that bottom row where there's that V4 button. This is going to start creating four variations of image four. And this is useful once you get to the point where you can create a fly that you want. So this is through that, from what we started, this is through that um, describe function. The imagine function works way better. And we're gonna jump into that here in one second. So as you can see, it's regenerating it. We got some hooks that are backwards. We got one that's correct. And you're just gonna need to continue to go through this and refine and refine and refine. And each time you do, it's gonna learn and it will get better. You can cancel the job if you wanna cancel it and you can change it if you wanna change it. So that is how you use it. Uploading a photo, again, very, very rough, but drastically improving. Now, where you can get a little more creative, imagine, okay, and now we can just type in a prompt. So, a fly for fly fishing that is a nymph tied on a nymph hook with gold wire and CVC feathers. Enter. We'll see how that works. This is where you can truly get creative. You can describe the fly that you've already tied. And this feature, I think, works better. All of the flies that I shared into the uh, blog were not image generated. They were um, imagine generated. So it does a little better job. It understands a little bit better what you're trying to say. If you see some of these some of these feeds that are popping up that other people are using, I've watched some of those and pulled things away from them that I do like. Um, some of the descriptive words that they use, so I'd recommend that. But as you can see, this is far better already at creating something that actually looks like a fly with just a very, very simple sentence. Where do we go here? We'll pull that up here. So spit out four variations of what it thought I wanted. Again, it does need refined, but um, it doesn't look like it quite understood what a CDC feather is. I could I could have written it out instead of using the acronym. But again, this is what that tool is going to do. That one here on the V1, or it goes in order one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna go three, four, or V3. Generate some more on that one. That one looked the coolest. And this is just gonna give me a basic um, variation of that fly, and I can try and recreate it on the vise. So pretty simple little tool here. If you do get stuck in describing something, you can use other tools uh, utilizing AI, such as chat GPT. I don't think it works quite as well as it should, um, especially when you ask it to describe a fly. It's just not there. It's not quite what we want it to be. Um, I haven't found it crazy useful. But again, the pretty pretty decent looking flies here. They definitely would work to catch some fish. I don't know how they're doing some of these um, tie-ins, but I'm sure after a while we could get something close. Again, there it is, pretty simple. For those of you that had a lot of questions that we were receiving when it came to how we are doing that, this is the answer. So really simple here. I like, um, I like the V3 the best. We're gonna click it again, and then we're gonna click that. We're gonna cancel that job here. We'll cancel this job. We didn't mean to do that. Boom, and there we have it. There is a fly completely generated by artificial intelligence through the Imagine feature using Midjourney. Really, really cool, kind of scary. Again, as we said in the blog, this is not gonna 
This is not going to replace the tire. It is just a tool that we wanted to be aware of. And it is a blog of ours that has been getting a ton of traction lately. I hope you enjoyed this. If it is, be sure to hit like, be sure to hit subscribe. Again, I am not an AI expert. If you find yourself stuck, go back to this video or look at other YouTube AI experts out there. They will help you, although they will not help you with fly tying. Have a good one and we will see you guys next time.